Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu, Blood Concrete. Before we get into that, this it, this fact today is inspired by Mike Ellis, and this is one of his paintings. It's amazing. Go to mikeellisart.com and you'll find more of his stuff there. He's phenomenal. Let's talk about how you make concrete first of all. So you make concrete by mixing cement, sand and water. Did you know that cement can set underwater? You've got two types of cement, hydraulic and non-hydraulic cement. Hydraulic cement is mostly composed up of silicates and oxides, predominantly things like calcium, aluminium and iron oxide. And when it's underwater, the crystal lattice incorporates molecules of water which then make it much more robust and actually insoluble water so it prevents further attack by water so it sets solid underwater. Non-hydraulic cement reacts with carbon dioxide that's in the air to, in order to harden so that can't set underwater. Now what are we talking about with blood in concrete? In ancient Roman time they would incorporate animal blood into the mixture. So what would happen is the ingredients would react with the animal blood and predominantly the fatty acids within the animal blood to form small balls of soap as the concrete started to set. And then these would simply break down and disappear, leaving these air holes, these gaps in the concrete. And what that means is during a mechanism called freeze-thaw, freeze-thaw, let's get those words out. Now if you're constantly getting expanding and contracting, expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting, if you constantly do that to to any sort of rock, it will crack and it will break and it will start to break down. By having the air holes in it helped to increase the durab durability of the concrete for a much longer period of time. Now they didn't know the exact science behind it, at least I think they didn't know the exact science behind it, but they did it by accident. Oh look, this works. Everybody, kill your animals, chuck, them in the, chuck their blood in to make the concrete and your buildings will last longer. So that is blood in concrete. If you like this, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Don't forget to go to visit mikeellisart.com I will put a link in the description below. See you later. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.